Hey everyone, it's me, The Real Ted, also known as Alex. I uh, just got home from PetSmart, and I was inspired by Ace's video. It was really awesome, so I wanted to make my own opening video. I'd like to start by thanking the hosts and the players for making an awesome game and keeping me thoroughly entertained through my countless boring hours at PetSmart. Um, most of the time, as I'm cleaning piles of dog shit, I'm thinking about things like, um, why does Mr. Krabs live in a bikini bottom on Spongebob? Uh, why is Simba and Nala grinding each other when they're actually siblings? And why does dog shit come in so many different textures and shapes and sizes and flavors? I wouldn't know about the flavors because I never tried it, but I, I'm just assuming that dog shit probably would have many different kinds of flavors. Anyway, um... I wanted to say something about Bob. Bob, in your opening, you talk about the three S's of Survivor, and that seemed really familiar to me. I think someone might have thought of that before you. Maybe it was me in the freaking Survivor KLD finale in my closing, which I'm going to post the link to below. Dylan, you're such a Canadian bacon-eating, plagiarizing motherfucker. Why did you steal my idea? Now, when, I have, when I'm going to talk about the three S's of Survivor now, but it's going to look like I stole it from you when I really didn't. But just, ju I just wanted to get that out of the way. So I'm going to start with the first one, which is strength. Um, on Guadatu, from the beginning, I was the strongest competitor on Guadatu. I guess that really isn't saying much because we kind of sucked as a tribe. But uh, the first challenge, I told Judd the password, which was don't drop the soap. I knew from the first one, a conjugal visit, that it was going to be some type of prison rape theme with the whole breaking out in Sausage Island. Um, and I told him the password. That helped us get a better time. We still didn't win immunity. Um, the SOS challenge, no one else was doing anything, and I at least tried. I know it was only a help me sign with a coconut penis penetrating an umbrella vagina. But come on, I tried, all right? And the dodgeball challenge was the only challenge we won, and if I wasn't there for the dodgeball challenge, we definitely would have lost. And there's, I have more to say about the dodgeball challenge later. Um, my social game was probably one of my best. I talked to everybody a lot, got to know everyone on a personal level. Uh, Courtney and Coach especially seem to be the most um, talkative and the most out there. And speaking to Courtney and Coach was really interesting because I kind of felt like I was a child and it was mom and dad and they both hate each other, husband and wife, and they want to get divorced and they keep confiding in me why they hate the other one. And they want me to side with them like it's a custody battle or something. So it was really awkward. Um, I also had great relationships with everyone on Guadatu. Even Sekou I had an alliance with called the STD Alliance. And uh, that was Sekou, Ted, and Dog. And that only lasted one round, but it was fun while it lasted. My strategic game, um, the first thing that I did in my strategic game is I gave Bob the captain challenge. I let him win. And the main reason I did that was to get the target off my back. Um, early on, so I didn't appear as a threat. I didn't want the blood on my hands from picking tribes. And it gained Bob's trust, and he ultimately told me that he found the idol that very first night. Um, only him and Courtney um, knew at the time. The second move I made was siding with Desperados in the dodgeball challenge. That really set the tone of the game um, on my part for Guadatu. The whole strategy for me, a general strategy, was to play Nisoy against Desperados so that we had, Guadatu had, the best chance at getting through. When I sided with Desperados against Nisoy in the dodgeball challenge, they lost. It completely changed the game. Because JT went home, Ace mutinied. Ace may have not mutinied if that didn't happen. I'm not sure, but Ace coming over definitely helped Guadatu tremendously. I, I don't even know if we'd be here right now if Ace never mutinied. And then Dara went home right afterwards, so Nisoy was destroyed. So by the time we got to Talgeny, 
Um, with this, the, the, with Nasoy basically demolished, I sided with Wanda and Courtney against um, the Desterados, and Semhar and Kim made it really easy because they were crazy bitches against each other. Um, at the merge, though, when Judd was blindsided, I had to make a strategic move, and I think that Judd getting blindsided was a mistake on Bob's part because it put Guadatu in a really bad position. I approached Coach with the idea that the five people, the five people who didn't vote for Judd, which was Coach Mary, Jay, Ace, and myself, um, need to team up. We need to be in alliance because the five people that blindsided Judd, they're in an alliance. Now, this wasn't exactly true. It was only kind of true because Bob was really with us. But because I got Coach um, into this alliance and back on our side, that um, Courtney was blindsided, and it kept kept us into a good position going into the double boot round, which we didn't need anyway, because another strategic move I made was I approached Eliza to give me the chest. And I told Eliza, if she gives me the chest, I would not vote her out. And um, the target ended up changing the mic instead, because I insisted that I would not vote out Eliza. It was originally going to be Eliza and Mary, um, we were only going to vote Mary after all four of us were immune because at that point we didn't have to worry about Mary potentially having an idol, which she didn't have. I'm sorry, Mary. That um, it would, wouldn't backfire on us if she played the idol. The last big move I made was, um, unfortunately, I'm sorry, Ace. After Coach um, was taken out, I had warned Jay that you told Coach that Jay was after him. And this pissed Jay off and turned Jay against you. When at, the, at that time, he was completely on your side. He wanted to go to the final three with you and me. But in truth, I had a final two with Bob the whole time. And I didn't want Bob to go down in fourth place or have to, I'd have to be in a position where I have to vote with Bob at the final four and force a tie. And it put me into a weird position and I knew that only three of us were going to make the end. So by making that move when Ace was blindsided, it guaranteed that I was going to be the end of the game. It basically guaranteed that Bob was going to be in the end of the game. As long as we stayed loyal to each other, which we did in Kelly and Eliza going in fifth and fourth place, that um, the game was set from that point on. And that's basically all I have to say. I just got home from PetSmart, and um, I got to take a shower because I kind of smell like dog shit. But there's one person I wanted you to meet, especially Frosty and Rory, because you guys don't think she exists. But I'd like to introduce you to Paloma. Some of you might know as uh, Shambo and Can You Survive. Say hi to Frosty, Lacey. Hi. So um, that's all I have to say, and um, I'm looking forward to your questions.